of my home, Mount Vernon. I'll show you the inside and outside of this wonderful plantation. First, you'll learn how I came to Mount Vernon. Then, you'll see some of the rooms. Then, we'll go outside and we'll take a look at the other buildings and places on the plantation. Now, if you'll follow me, I'll give you the story on how I came here. I was born in 1731. I married Daniel Park Custis. After Daniel died, I married George Washington in 1759. I moved into Mount Vernon in that same year. What is Mount Vernon? Mount Vernon is a plantation that George Washington, the first president of the United States, lived in. A plantation is a place with usually one mansion and other buildings and gardens around it. Now let's go see some of the rooms. This one is George's and my bedroom. George died on this bed in 1799. Four pictures up here are of my four grandchildren. This is the little parlor. If you'll notice the harpsichord, you'll learn that George bought that for my granddaughter, Nellie Custis, in 1793. This is the west parlor. It has a picture of George, who is about 40 years in that, old in that. This is the large dining room. The table was stored away when it wasn't in use. Here's the small dining room. The family eats at this table every day when we don't have company. This is the Nellie Custis bedroom. My granddaughter Nellie Custis lived with George and I and was raised by us. Even after she was married, she lived with us until they found their own home. This, this crib was given to Nellie by me for her first child. This is the Lafayette bedroom. The Marquis de Lafayette stayed in this room for, on one of his visits to Mount Vernon in 1784. Above the fireplace is a portrait of him. This is the west front of the mansion. The guests arrive here. The outside of Mount Vernon is a pine. It is painted with sand to give it the effect of stone. This is my third floor bedroom. I think it is my favorite room because after George died, I moved up to this room. This is the central passage. Between these two doorways is a key. The Marquis de Lafayette gave that key to George. It is to the Bastille. This is George's favorite room. He bought a globe, a desk, and a fan chair for the room. Every day when he woke up, since he woke up much earlier than I do, he would come down here to change so he didn't wake me up. This is the kitchen. It is apart from the mansion. But if you look back over here, you will see the kitchen and that it is connected to the mansion from a covered passageway. I go to the kitchen often because I like to visit with the slaves and I supervise them as they cook. Let's go outside and we'll see some of the other buildings. This is the mansion. Behind the mansion in our backyard is the Potomac River. It has a beautiful porch in the back, the mansion does, and there are Here is the kitchen. It is covered to the mansion from a passageway like I told you before. Across from the kitchen is the white servant's hall. It is also covered to the mansion from an overhanging passageway because this, these slaves took care of the family and it was easy access for them to get to the mansion. Over here is the smokehouse. The smokehouse is where the meat was cured. This is the wash house. Our laundry is washed here. This, this is the stable. This is where our horses are kept. Let's go back over here and see the sundial. George bought this sundial. It is the original. This is the gardener's house. The gardener lives here and his tools are kept here. 
This is the storehouse. Our food is stored here. This is the spinning house. The wool is spun here. And it is also kept there. Let's take a little walk over here and we'll see the black slave quarters. The black slaves lived here. They take care of the garden. This is the upper garden and the lower garden. The upper garden is called the upper garden because it is a little bit more elevated than the lower garden. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of Mount Vernon. I hope you remember how I came here, some of the rooms and about them, and some of the places on the plantation. I hope that someday there will be such a thing as the Mount Vernon Ladies Association. I have dreamed that they will preserve the plantation and that they will let school children and their families all around the world to come learn about the father and mother of the United States and the home. Thank you. Any questions? Yes? Did George and Martha have children of their own or just her children from a previous marriage? Just her grandchildren. Absolutely. Any other questions? Do you have <coughs> questions of Janelle and not of Martha? <coughs> Yes. What interested you in selecting Mount Vernon as a topic? Um, I visited Mount Vernon in the summer of 1994, and we, vi we visited Mount Vernon, so I got interested. And at the time that you visited it, did you have in mind that it would be a good school project sometime? No, well, my mom suggested it. Yeah. <laughs> good. Becky? Do you actually go into the room? Yeah, you can only go in the first floor and second floor because the third floor is closed because there's no fire escape. Any other questions? Nice job. Can you get the light, boys? Okay, let's correct the questionnaire. Mount Vernon is a what? in Mount Vernon, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Mount Vernon was the home of blank and blank Washington. Of one. The year that George Washington died is Debbie? 1790. Martha was born in the year what? And she married George in the year what? Martha's granddaughter that was raised by George and Martha and was like a daughter to them was? The two names of the two main gardens are they what and the what? George's favorite room was the what, and Martha's favorite room was what? The The what is attached to the house by a covered passageway. And why was it attached by the covered? Why was it not in the house? Why were kitchens in those days not part of the house? What do you kids think? And then, what do you think? Well, it's a good reason, but I don't know if that's the right one. Let's see if David. Um, probably because um, there was. They didn't really want the science to do the work in the mansion itself. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe. This is, it's not the reason I'm thinking of, but um, let's try one more from the audience and then we'll let Martha tell. Because I'm sure she learned that. Brett, what do you think? Because they don't want slaves going around the mansion. Martha, did you learn why you did have you had a kitchen outside your house? Um, we had the kitchen outside because if the fire, since we had a big fire in there, if the <coughs> building caught fire, it wouldn't directly burn down the mansion. So we had a little time to put out the fire. And also it was very hot in there and we wanted the mansion to keep cool. So the mansion wouldn't always be very hot as the kitchen.